Okay, since Don Tolliver dropped today and you want to know how OZ makes crazy samples and beats on the cell of Don Tolliver and Travis Scott, this is the perfect video for you. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how OZ makes crazy samples and beats in the cell of Don Tolliver and Travis Scott. It's a very like ambient and unique sample, I would say. And you have already heard it, the beat is crazy. And I'm going to break down the sample and the beat. So yeah, make sure to watch till the end. But first of all, I'm going to break down the sample. And the way I'll do it is I will show you all the pattern first, or like basically the sound, then the pattern. Then I will preview the pattern and show you how I mix these sounds. Then after that, I will show you my mastering chain for the samples and how I like structured the sample because it has a few different different parts and then after that i will show you how i made the beat so show you all every single drum pattern and how i like played with the sample so make sure to watch till the end and don't miss the beat breakdown and if you want to level up as a music producer make sure to check out the link in the description there's my own website which is called lucaland and my new starstruck kit is out right now it's a crazy crazy kit and it is over 500 sounds so if y'all want to get it make sure to use code starstruck for this one i would highly recommend it to y'all and don't forget to like subscribe and to comment it would really really help me and i don't want to make it into too long so yeah guys let's go so i started off with the genesis one shot kit from base one and pilgrim and i use this mallet right here i put the mode on auto and i pitch it down by one whole octave and the envelope looks like this y'all can just replicate like the settings or like copy the settings and then what i did for the pattern it's a very boring pattern but with the effects it makes sense and as you can see i basically just laid down one simple two bar pattern and as you can see i just laid down a very simple two bar pattern and then just copied it over the whole time because that was more than enough and the effects did this thing and i randomized the velocities which you can do with alt and r i strummed some notes as you can see right here which you can do with alt and s and that's all i did for this pattern and then after that i rendered it out as you can see right here put it on another mixer track but i'll show you all the rendered out version first and then show you all these effects so first of all this is the rendered out main melody Then for the effects on this mallet, I have this portal with the dots preset, then this footy delay 3 with these settings right here, y'all can just copy these, then this footy flanger with this default preset, this footy flanger with its default preset, then this Valhalla vintage web where I tweak the mix, the decay and the low cut, this simple soothe on its default settings, I just turned this knob from soft to hard and I put the depth to 7.9, then this EQ, this EQ and this EQ just to EQ out a lot of frequencies that were too harsh with the portal on it and I removed a lot of the lows and a lot of the highs right here just to duck it a little bit bit more into the background and make it sound a little bit more vintage and added 17% in stereo. Then for the next thing I had this bumblebee pad and I had the envelope like on the first sound like on the mallet and that's all I did for this sound and as you can see I just laid down some very simple chords which contains this D minor chord, this A sharp major chord, then the simple E and then I just copied it over the whole time. I load the velocity as you can see right here and didn't really do anything else and the finish pattern is sounding like this. Then for the effects on this pad, all I had on there was this Valhalla Vintage Web with these settings. I had the mix to 82.5%, then the DK to 1.64, the pretty late to 1.22, and the low cut to 950Hz. And I had this EQ where, as you can see, I EQ'd out a lot of frequencies from the mid frequencies or like the lower mid frequency. And I panned 25% to the right and had a 12% in mono. Then for the next thing, I had this key mallet. And as you can see, I played with the envelope. I just basically put the attack to 8% and the attack tension to to minus 66 percent so the wave or like the curve looks like this and because the attack was a little bit too harsh for this type of sample or like for the sound i was going for and as you can see it's just a very simple pattern it's just there for some ear candy so people have something to listen for in the background and that's all i can really explain it's basically just this d another d then an f to an a and the ear candy pattern or like the ear candy thing sounds like this and then for the effects on there, I just have the simple RC20 just for the wobble and the EQ and the tone. Then this for the delay, as you can see, I put it on the ping pong option and I put the pan to minus 100% and the time to 2.0. Then this Valhalla Vintage Web where I tweak the mix, the decay, the low cut and the pre-delay. This EQ and this EQ just to remove some of the like harshness of the sound and to cut out a lot of the lows and dark some of the highs. And I pan it 56% to the left. Then for the next thing, I had this 44 Jupiter 8 key. And as you can see, I didn't play with the envelope at all. I just put the mode 
of stretch and as you can see it's a very simple pattern again it's basically in d minor chord but i tried to replicate like a simple delay with this with these a notes because i went down with the velocity as well and then i just copied it over and this simple chord with the delay effect is something like this And then for the effects on there, I have this RC20 just for the wobble. Then this for another vintage web where I tweak the mix, the decay, the low cut and the pre-delay. Then this simple EQ where I just cut out some of the lows and duck some of the highs. This soof with these settings right here. Then this simple EQ where I just cut out some of the lows and I had a 38% in mono. Then for the next thing I used Arcade and I laid down this pretty simple pattern right here which just contains two notes copied over all the time. But I will show you the effects right away. I have this effect tricks on there, this portal with the ghost house preset and this EQ just cut a lot of the lows and some of the low mids and i will show you the rendered out version right away because i rendered it out right here and i pitched one down by one whole octave and lowered the velocity by a bit and the finished vocal is sounding like this And for the effects on the rendered out vocal, I have this fully delayed too with these settings right here. This for another vintage verb where I didn't tweak the mix, but I tweaked the decay, the pre-delay and the low cut. Then this EQ where I cut a lot of the lows, mids and highs. And this EQ where I cut a lot of the frequencies that I didn't like, like heavily. And this simple soothe on its hard setting and the depth to 5.9, just to remove some more of the harshness. And that's all I did for the vocal effect chain. Then after that, I have this whistle synth from XY Nothing, I think. And I turn on this envelope, play with the attack again and put the to stretch put the smp start to 13 percent and the declick amount to generic and as you can see it's a very simple pattern as well I, ba I basically have this a sharp 4 and this a4 then i just copied it over and then i have this f and this a again just to get some variation in the sample and as you can see i basically just copied it down but i load the velocity as you can see and this counter melody is very ambient and it adds a lot to the sample but it's very simple and it sounds like this And for the effect on this whistle, I have this Valhalla Vintage Warp with these settings right here. Then this EQ where I cut out a lot of the frequencies that I didn't like. And then this EQ where I cut out a lot of the lows, a lot of the highs and two frequencies that were too harsh. I think it was this F and this A. So it's a very simple effect chain, but it adds, as I said, a lot of ambience and texture for the sample. Then after I laid down this counter melody, I obviously had to go on my Stars from Multi Kit and go to Perk Loops and pick this Cray Perk Loop right here. And I put the motor stretch and that's all I did for this Perk Loop. It's completely ready to be dragged and dropped into your I just copied it over for the whole sample because it was, I would say, necessary because it adds like a lot of texture. And I will show you the effects first. I have this EQ on there, then this EQ to cut out almost all of the low and low mids, and almost all of the high and high mids, then this simple soothe right here, and this reverb, and the Cray Perk loop with effects is sounding like this. Then for the baseline, I have this 5-string bob bass, and I don't know from which kit it actually was. I think it actually, as you can see right here, it was from the FL Studio, like, legacy pack. And I just laid down this D and A sharp, which was the root notes of the sample. And I randomized the velocities to make it sound a little bit more realistic. And before showing you all the mastering effects, this is the baseline. And for the effects on this baseline, I have just a simple EQ to cut out some frequencies that I didn't like. And this EQ just to cut out the muddy lows and some of the highs. And this EQ just to cut out some of the muddy lows, some frequencies that I didn't really like or to duck them. And to cut out all of the highs and I had it 100% in mono. Then for the effects on my mastering chain, I have this every rod vinyl serial with this preset on right here. I just turned down the noise and the crackle. Then this RC20 retro color with the Luca could be a pet preset. I basically left it on its default settings. I just turned down the space and the digital. Then this L1 limiter just to make the sample way louder. This sound shift the pitch zero where I pitch the sample down by three. This hyper chorus on its default settings, I just turned the mix to 8%. This EQ where I duck some of the lower lows and this simple soothe on its default settings. And that's all for my mastering chain. And now we'll show you all the sample with and without the mastering chain. So first of all, this is the sample without the mastering chain. Now this is a sample with the mastering chain.
then for the beat back down, it's very simple. I dragged in the sample, pitch it up by three, put the mode to stretch, the declicking mode to generic, and the trim knob to 100%. Just set the like little space at the beginning, basically goes away. And as you can see, the first thing I did for the beat was having this two step height pattern. And then because it was in 111 BPM, I put the step to one half step and literally like copied it over right here, put the velocity down, and then randomized the velocity of the notes. And then I just laid down some roads at the beginning of the pattern and then just copied it over. And the finished height pattern is sounding like this. Then I used the Luca Late Night Clap out of the Starstruck Multi Kit, which you can see right here. And I laid down this pretty simple pattern. I just tried to create like a bounce with it and I load the velocities of some of these notes as you can see. And the finished clap pattern is sounding like this. Then I have the simple wrapped open head and as you can see I will just play the sound because it's a very simple sound and I obviously just have it on a 1, 3, 5 and 7 to layer with the 808s and the wrapped open head is sounding like this. And then I have the most important part which is the 808 pattern and as you can see I try to stay in the D and A sharp range because that's the root notes of the sample. I obviously switched it up right here and right there because I try to get some variation in the beat and I load the velocity of some of these notes just to make the beat sound more interesting or like the pattern to be more interesting and that's really all I did. I just freestyled this 808 pattern and tried to see what sounds good and what didn't. So I ended up with this pattern and as you can see it's a very simple structure right here. I basically have the drums at the beginning so the rapper can imagine how the beat will sound when it's like in the hook part or like the main part and then i have like a little intro right there my tag and then it's basically just the hook of the beat the verse the hook the verse and the hook again and then like a little outro and that's all i did for this finished beat and the finished beat is sounding like this So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel. It would really really help me and it would really mean a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out the links in the description. Make sure to check out LucaLand, LucaDidThis.com. That's my own website. And these kits are so high quality, so if you want to level up as a music producer, make sure to get them. They have sounds for almost every genre. And please let me know in the comments on what y'all think of the sample. I'd really appreciate that. And that would really help me to get into the algorithm as well. So y'all don't forget that. And thank you for this crazy support y'all been showing me. And I don't want to keep you out too long. So yeah guys. See y'all.